I wrote this journal entry on May 26th, 2023, at 1.42 a.m. I feel that it has been a while since I've written about something sad in here. That is a good thing, so there's no complaints there. But tonight I feel a bit sad. I saw my family today at my brother's graduation. First time I had seen us all together in a long time. It's been over a year since I cut them off. I was cordial. I do still love them. I hope they know that. That I wish them well still. That I want the best for them still. And I want the best for me too. But unfortunately that means going it alone. Well, not alone. I have my friends, but without them. I was putting the dishes away earlier, and I stopped for a moment and looked out the little window which overlooks the sink and out into the living room. And I thought about them and wondered how they are. Then I wondered if they ever do that with me. I find it equally probable that they do or don't. But I hope they do. I picked this journal entry to read because it's been over a year, I don't know, maybe a year and a half, I don't quite remember, since I cut my, my adoptive mom and then most of my adoptive family off. And I've, I made plenty of attempts to do it in the past, but this time I actually did it. And that doesn't mean it's just easy. You know, I've been thinking about them recently. Um, I was having a conversation with someone today, though, and we talked about this meme that people share, or like there's just posts that people share where about choosing your hard, you know, whether it be marriage or divorce or being single or having kids or not having kids, and you know, she was explaining to me how that's really what I'm doing is I'm choosing my hard. Because either way, it's hard. It was hard to have them in my life, and it's hard to not have them in my life. But which hard is most beneficial for everyone involved? Which hard is most beneficial for myself? Because I'm of the belief that what's actually genuinely best for one person is what's best for the world, and, and vice versa. Um, and... And, you know, I remind myself of these things when I'm missing my family. I mean, no one can break your heart. No one can break my heart like my family can. I've been through a lot of heartbreaks in my life, but none like the way they did it. And um, it just, it's, it's reminding yourself that people will choose to be blind. And sometimes people hurt you too fundamentally to be able to have them in my life. But that doesn't mean not forgiving, you know, it doesn't mean not loving, it just means that if I want to continue a relationship with someone, I need basic acknowledgement of something that is true, you know, and, um, and that goes into deeper things about my life, but this could be applied to anybody where Just because something is hard doesn't mean it would have been easier the other way. You know, this is just hard in a different way than having them in my life was. And the hardest part about doing this is that I love them. If I hated them, this would be a lot easier. It's because I love them that... Not talking to them is hard. But I also love myself and if I truly loved them and wanted the best for the world, I would do what's best. And I don't think it's right to enable people to treat me that way. But um, my point is that 
it's a lot like choosing not to go back to an addiction. You know, it's hard either way. But which one is more beneficial for you? But I do hope they think about me. And I hope when they do, they think about me fondly. Because I have plenty of reasons not to think about them fondly, but I still do.